What's up guys, Brownie Bits here, and we are back in Nature's Beauty for a brand new episode. Now, I know the last two episodes were kind of uh, crazy episodes, but I have a lot planned for this one. So let's go ahead and jump right on into it. I've got some crafting stuff I need to do. I've already crafted one thing, and that's just because I wanted to gather some wood off camera. Uh, but this thing here, um, right here, the whole tree axe, and that is taking... It's, it's got to be crafted with diamonds, and we had enough diamonds. Also, by the way, I found a jungle sapling. Um, but we had enough diamonds, and basically, you craft it, if I can grab the right stuff, kind of like a normal axe. You start it off like a normal axe, at least. And then you add one more, and that's the whole tree axe. Now, this is going to act like vein miner for trees, as long as you cut the very bottom one. Uh, or very bottom log and it'll chop the whole tree down at the same time but let's go ahead and jump right on into this episode All right, guys, welcome back. So what I want to start off with today is uh, trying to get a backpack made up right off the bat. Um, I don't, yeah, so it's just a basic backpack. And then, um, let's see. Storage emphasis or upgrade emphasis. Hmm. I think we will do the storage emphasis on this guy. And so, yeah, this is going to give us a ton of extra storage. And then going a little further, we might do upgrade emphasis, storage emphasis, upgrade emphasis. How do we make, whoops, how do we make this blank upgrade? Stick, string, I don't know if I have enough string. Ah, oh, I do. I definitely do. Okay, good. Um, stick, string, and paper. So then, upgrade emphasis. We can make two of those. Um, where's my gold? Nope, my gold is... Oh, it's nighttime. It is nighttime, people. Okay, so basically I'm just trying to get this so that when uh, we start to, because I, I want to be able to go and explore and not have to worry about inventory space, and that's just going to help me out a whole ton. So let's grab this and close the door behind us. Okay, so um, we're going to go ahead and upgrade this to the upgrade emphasis, I think. Oh no, it has to be storage. Okay. That is fine, which means I need more chests, and I don't think I grab. yeah, I definitely did not grab the right wood, okay, we'll do eight, that way we have uh, four chests, okay, oops, Get the gold backpack going. And then what's is the diamond? Six diamonds. I have exactly six. I am going to save that until. But let's see. Yeah, we've got a ton of room here. I'm not too worried about it. We can always make another one as uh, necessary. But I'm going to throw these in here. The, the next thing, um, I actually do want to do this which I don't have. There we go. I do want, excuse me. Okay, and then I don't remember, I don't think I got any lapis. Okay, the next thing I want to craft up is going to be a couple apple trees. 
Um, and the reason is because we're going to be able to get apples from this. And I think that's going to be a nice food source, especially at this, this time. Um, I need... Is there no dirt anywhere around here? I need some dirt. Oh, no. Dirt, please. Dirt, please. There we go. There's some. Oops. Okay. Can't get out. Okay, there we go. And I think we plant the other one right on over here. Hopefully... Um, they will be able to grow. I don't know if there's anything in here that limits growth. Do I? Ha I do have bones, so let's try to bone meal them. Oh, perfect. And then beautiful. And then, as you can see here, it takes down the whole thing. And gives us, ooh, four saplings. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. So. Um, do I get the apple? Oh, it broke. <laughs> Okay, so that's that's some stuff I'm gonna have to learn, um, which is fine. Whatever, that's that's okay. I completely understand that. Um, it's not that big of a deal. I don't think I really have anything else um, that I can think of right off the bat. I do want to make. Let's go ahead and make a few chests or another double chest here. Um, excuse you. Did not say that, that could happen. And I'm just going to throw the rest of this stuff in here. Um, because I don't need it. Alright. So the next thing I want to do is I want to... Oh, hello, carrot, that I did not realize. Um, the next thing I want to do is create a mine. And I think I'm going to create a mine shaft in this house, if I can find the entrance. Um... Now we're getting somewhere. All right, guys, and welcome back. So I've been mining for a little while, and I found this little uh, spider spawner. It's pretty far away, so I'm not going to really worry about it. I don't know if I want beetroot seeds, but I'm going to take it anyways because we got extra room um, for all of this stuff. But look at this. So we got some cool stuff. We got a notch apple, which is awesome. And I'm actually, uh, let's let's dig in here. Let's dig in here real fast. I, I did find some diamonds, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, gather that up. Wow, I'm I'm basically full now. This is uh, yeah. So I don't have I don't have enough room. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. That is totally fine. We will uh, be able to work, do some fun stuff. All right, there we go. We have another one of these, um, and then I'm gonna pick this up. And we're going to continue on our way. Um, basically, the main thing I'm looking for in, in this uh, um, deal is lapis. And we've gotten a bunch of lapis. I've already thrown some uh, um, out or thrown some back to uh, I don't I don't really care about copper right yet. I mean, we can always come back and grab it. OK. Um, yeah, I don't really need to know. Oh. Uh, what's, what's down there? Is that? Wait. That's another one of those caves. Okay, uh, how do I get down there safely? Um. I think. Can 
Can I just dig down like this? Maybe? Get out of my way, copper! And not copper cable, because cable's cool. Also, between this clip and uh, the last one, I have changed the shaders I'm using. I've uh, gone to Silder's Enhanced Default. Um, I'm not going to worry about that Enderman yet. Um, oh, it is another one of those caves. Sweet. Okay. Um, I've gone to uh, Soldiers and Enhanced Default because I think uh, they look a lot better. I'm just going to use this to my advantage. Ooh. Okay. So we got another one of these caves, which means more diamonds for sure, which is awesome, and more gold, which is awesome as well. Um, and emeralds, which is equally as awesome. But we've got a different uh, cave color here. Let's see. I think I'm just going to try and take all of these because I, we don't have any of them. Or as many as I could possibly hold. That, uh, that would be good. Come on. Oh, man. There's more. Okay. That's it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this cave all done up. And um, I will be back once I get back uh, to the the city because I need to I need to do some more stuff this episode I feel like I haven't really done all that much yet um, so we need to uh, kind of get rolling on what uh, we need to do so I will be right back all right guys I've got everything sorted out um, I have no more uh, stuff in my gold backpack and um, yeah so let's go ahead and jump in here um, and start to kind of do what we want. So as you can see, I have actually brought up the mod called Potion Fingers. And this is actually a custom built mod specifically for this mod pack and specifically for Wells Knight. So what we're going to do is take a look at this. And as you can see, it takes a lapis block and then gold ingots. So I'm going to go ahead. Um, let's actually do one, two. Let's do four for now. Because we have, we have the resources to do four. Um, so we got that. One, and, and this is how you, uh, you build it. So you put whatever, you know, block around it four by four. And that creates it. So in, in this case, uh, let's see, potion of speed would be four sugars. Uh, potion of haste would be emeralds or haste um, and these are all beacon effects so we want to do another one of these so we've got two of these and then I think what we're going to do is two of the resistance S what's strength rabbit's foot is jump blaze powder is strength and gas tears we do not have any gas tears so let's go ahead and stick to um, Oops, I did not not mean to do that. Okay, so we'll do that, and then one more. So we've got potion of re or we've got resistance, and then you can actually put them in there. So we've got two. Uh, we've got haste too, as you can see up there in that top right hand corner. And now, if I were to come down here and mine um, anything, yeah, here we go much faster mining speeds um, which is awesome so basically these are like beacon effects um, so this is would be two if I'm I'm thinking about battling we'll have resistance to um, so it's it's like the whole thing it's like the whole um, idea of um, I think I'm going to leave that on for now but it's like it's it's the whole idea of beacons only you can carry them around with you i love the mod i love the idea um so awesome 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 mod to uh to throw in so that's one thing the other thing i wanted to do that's right the other thing i wanted to do quickly is upgrade this to a diamond backpack since we have the diamonds now okay and then Oh, yeah. Eh. 
Okay. So now we have even more space to store. And I don't know how the upgrades work. That's the other thing I want to kind of figure out about this, this specific mod in general, which has the backpacks in it. I want to see about the, um, the blank upgrades that we can do. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, we have two already. Um, so can we, or is it, no, let's do, I don't, I don't even remember what mod this is from. What mod is this from? Iron backpacks. Okay. So we'll do at iron backpacks. Okay. So we have this. Oh, okay. Hold shift for more information. Cost four upgrade points, minimum tier two. Keeps backpacks that have been dropped from despawning. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, extra upgrade point, cost negative one upgrade. So cost one. Oh, it adds, okay, adds an additional upgrade point. Interesting. Latch upgrade locks everybody but the owner out. That doesn't matter here. Uh, damage bar upgrade adds a damage bar to visually represent how full the book backpack is at a glance. Glance. Okay. I think extra point up. Well, I, I don't. This right here. For upgrade. Yeah. So how do we craft this? Can we not craft it? Okay. Okay. So damage bar. What is this? Extra upgrade point. Can we not do the everlasting upgrade? Apparently that one is not craftable. Okay. All right. Well, in that case, I don't... The only one that I think would even be interesting would be the damage bar, but I don't think it really matters. Okay. So that's how that works. So we can't add storage to this. Um, this is basically the all the storage we get, which is fine. That's a lot of storage. I was just kind of trying to see if we could add anything else to it. Um, now, what else is there? Um, oh, interesting. So we have we have iron chests. Oops. Okay. So basically, iron chest is that, um, and then silver chest. Ooh. Can that not be crafted? Apparently not. Okay. And then gold is an iron chest. Okay. So let's go ahead and make some of these. Um, I'm interested to see what, what the difference is. Because I haven't played around with this yet. This is definitely something that's worth playing around, especially at this point. So we will do this, and then we will do this. So we can kind of visually see the difference. I did not mean to do that. Okay. I gotta sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we'll put this here, and then we'll put this here. Um, wow, that's a lot of storage. Not as much. Okay. That's actually fine. So what we're going to do then in that case is actually upgrade this to gold for sure. Um, and I don't think I have, I don't have any glass. So gold chest it is. Why is that block there? That's interesting. And I've added some s stuff here so it can automatically just smelt everything. Um, so you can see here, I can just throw a whole bunch of stuff in there and then it'll just keep going and there's the output right there. So that's what I have done, um, off camera, which is fine. I think in the next episode, we are going to definitely build a starter house and I kind of want it to be over by the mountain, um, a little outside of town. So basically... Uh, one thing I I was thinking about, um, because look at this. So we have these, these logs, okay? And if you look, look at that. They actually look 
like log cabin logs. Look at that. That looks awesome. So I was thinking... Okay, there we go. I don't have any other axe on me. I was thinking doing an actual log cabin. I think that would be pretty darn cool. Um, I don't know how well that's going to work out, but we're going to try and see if that will actually work for us. And if it does, then that's awesome. If it does not, oh well. <laughs> it's worth the try, um, but I think as far as where I want the, uh, the house to be, I think that's going to be a good, uh, good option for us. So I think spruce wood is going to be our best bet, honestly. Yeah. So basically, we're... Actually, you know what? We could probably just... Well, I don't know. I, I, I don't think I have enough time, uh, unfortunately. I was going to say we could just kind of build it up. But I think I'm going to just kind of get my inventory ready. Um, how much? Okay. Let's... Wait. No. I want the iron chests. That's right. What's... Okay, so I do need six stained glass. Okay, so I only have five of that, which is fine. We can always find... Go off and find another one specific. Um, I am going to keep that in my inventory. Um, I've added a lot of chests because I didn't know about these uh, these awesome chest deals. Um, yeah. Oh, it's turning night. Okay. Well, I think that is about going to do it for me, guys. Um, yeah, I think we're going to do our starter house over there next episode. And then I think we're going to kind of develop this, this village a little bit better. And uh, kind of maybe even get some path works going off to that... Um, or off in that direction. Um, but yeah, so I love the idea of the snowy village. I think, uh, that is, that is going to be quite a bit. Oh, I love, look at that. I just love this. Okay. I don't like how it's, it's got a reflection on it, but this is definitely cool. The dynamic surroundings mod is definitely cool. So in that case, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed it and want to see more content like this, Make sure you hit that subscribe button. But guys, that will do it for me. I, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.